Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe and I'm so happy that you're here. Um, so today I am making a my fourth video, I guess, on um, my fourth day of taking anti-anxiety, antidepressant medication for my PTSD. Um, this has been strange, making these videos, because this isn't something that I have been open with people about a lot of my life um, because this has been a part of my life now for the majority of it. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of my hot chocolate. I made this so long ago and it's getting cold. I actually gulped it. Um, oh, I almost dropped it. That's a good example of what anxiety feels like. It's like whenever you almost drop a full cup of something but you like catch it all day though. <laughs> Um, so today is day four of having medication in me, and I've said this in my other videos, I'm just going to say it again, I'm not going to mention what medication it is that I'm taking, just because everybody's different, and I don't want what works for me for you to request and for it to not work for you, because all of our brain chemistry is different. Um, and also, I was prescribed this medication based on having pretty severe PTSD symptoms rather than just depression or just anxiety. 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 Anxiety? I always say that wrong, which is ironic, but um, yeah. So the past few videos I've talked about my symptoms and background on me and probably things that all of us have experienced in one way or another with struggling with this facet of mental health um, and it always stresses me out a little bit coming on camera talking about it because it's not something that I've ever been open about in the past like I said um, and that's because mental health as much as we have normalized the care of it we haven't normalized what's happened prior to needing help with it for people who let's say like events in your life made you an anxious person or events in your life made you a depressed person um, and of course some things are hereditary and you're born with them um, sometimes it's a combination of the two where like you know everybody in your family on your family tree had depression so you like might be born with this minimal level of maybe a serotonin imbalance but then things happen in your life and it's like disproportionate from maybe what it would have been if you hadn't had these bad life events happen. So I guess what I'm saying is everybody really is so different. Um, I always try to figure out where to start with these videos. I think I'm going to start in a different direction today than where I've started in my other videos. The other ones I kind of started with storytelling. I'm going to go with my symptoms I've been having today on day four. Um, just cause like, I feel like that's probably what people are wondering who are watching these also. Sorry, I'm twitching. I don't know why I've been twitching since I started this medication, like, not noticeably that much, but I've noticed like, I'm like doing my makeup and it's like, <laughs> but, um, okay. So this one's really weird. This has been a side effect that I thought I noticed a couple days ago and I really wasn't sure if I was reading too much into it, but I'm pretty sure that this is a side effect. Um, my senses feel very heightened right now. Um, colors appear a little bit brighter, and I did mention this yesterday that like I was sitting in the bathtub and noticed things that I hadn't noticed ever before, like the texture of the wall. Um, just feel more aware of my surroundings, I guess. Even though I'd like to say I've always been very aware of my surroundings, I guess not. Um, so earlier, I was sitting there doing work stuff in the living room, taking pictures of some inventory for my online business. And I thought I heard like an animal collar clicking outside. And there's not a lot of like pets that would get lost around here. I live in a very secluded place, I guess is the best way to put that. So. I'm like, what kind of little cute animals outside? So I go to go take a look and I'm standing there 
and mind you it was like 20 feet away from where I was and I'm like listening and I hear nothing anymore so I go back in the house and right as I'm like opening the back door I notice that the hanging string lights in the backyard I have these little skeletons hanging from all of them and I like like Halloween decorations year round right um, I feel like that's a pick me thing to say. I know everybody says that. I don't think I'm different. Um, so I have Halloween decorations like in the backyard and little cute skeletons hanging and the wind was hardly hitting the skeleton into the bulbs and I was like hardly even heard it standing next to it and then I was like oh my god that's the noise I was hearing. I thought it was so bizarre that I heard that like all the way from outside when I was also focused on something else and the TV was on. So just like very strange um, senses are very heightened right now. Um, and luckily, I think a big thing people are probably wondering is uh, mood swings. I have not experienced any mood swings. If anything, I've felt a little bit calmer the past couple days. Um, I immediately noticed a couple of differences once I started taking medication. I don't know if it's like that for everybody, but for me, pretty quickly off the bat, I was like, yeah, there's some noticeable things happening. Um, okay, this is a cool little side effect. <laughs> and I think this is probably supposed to happen long term. Um, the second I woke up today, I got up and unloaded the dishwasher, did all the dishes in the sink, cleaned on top of the fridge, um, and I mentioned this either yesterday or the day before, but I've been cleaning like so much, getting a bunch of stuff done, even my business pictures that I was taking today, I've been meaning to get around to a big portion of the ones that I did get down, done today. So it's kind of strange. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my water. Um, it's kind of strange because I have felt almost like there is something holding me down and back. Like, I've gotten up in the mornings prior to starting this medication, and I don't only feel down and discouraged for the day, like, the second I wake up. No matter how much I get done, I didn't want to do it. But I feel like I'm opting into doing things the past couple days that... I don't typically do um like willingly happily it's like I have to get this done whereas it doesn't feel like it's taking me an extravagant amount of time and I don't know if you guys experience that if you maybe are thinking that you want to start medication and you haven't but it's that like nagging feeling in the back of your head like I could be doing so much more and I might get this done, but it feels like a huge inconvenience and it feels very discouraging and almost drains your energy for the day. So that has been kind of cool. Um, and my boyfriend also mentioned it today. He goes, you've been like getting a lot of stuff done the past couple days. He's like, I don't know if you've noticed. And I was like, I'm really glad that you said that because I was thinking that, but I wasn't sure. And he was like, no, it's like noticeable that you've just been like powering away at stuff in your life the past couple days. Um, hold on. I'm still extremely thirsty all day. Still feel like my throat, um, it doesn't feel dry. It feels like a sore throat until I drink water and then it's completely gone. Um, for like probably 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So I definitely have cotton mouth still pretty bad. <laughs> um, what is the next one? Okay, so I guess I didn't put any other like noticeable ones for today. Like my tummy is making noises. I don't know if you can hear it. It has been like rumbling a lot, but I haven't felt nauseous. It just feels like, um, it feels like the first couple of days, I guess it hurt more and I felt more nauseous. And then at least today, like it's rumbling and it doesn't feel perfect, but it, it doesn't hurt. I don't feel like I have a stomach ache. It's just been making really weird noises. Um, like rumbling, I guess rumbling in my stomach. And I have noticed a lot of people said that nausea is really common. Um, I've noticed like my stomach feels slightly different with whether it be nausea on the first couple days or 
Um, my like tummy just rumbling really, really bad lately. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a couple of things I wanted to talk about as well. And I will say prior to medication, my memory has always been shot. I have really, really bad memory. So I have always had notes, whether you guys have seen them or not. <laughs> for any video I ever make there's like some form of notes whether it's like the title so I remember to film it whatever it is so um I wrote this down about like how I am with when I procrastinate how I am in general how I've been in the past um and also noting that I've only had medication in me for four days now. So how different could it possibly be in my brain? Um, from what I understand, this is to introduce it into my system. And then once I take my full dosage, things are supposed to change for the positive. Um, and I just feel scared every time that I take that pill because I feel slightly ashamed that I need to and that like, I've always been like, oh, I have like this, you know, boss mentality and I'm going to get my life done and anything that comes up, I'm going to figure it out. And so not being able to carry that mentality into my mental health and also pretending to so many people in my life, like I was fine for so long. Um, like my friends always saying like that I was always making jokes and always like being funny and it's like kind of sad because I knew where it was coming from like I felt so sad inside all the time and especially once the anxiety got worse and then my PTSD it didn't resurface it's always been there I just thought that it was gone because time had passed so there's a lot of mixed signals that my own body sent me and I was trying to cope by cracking jokes and um, surrounding myself by people at all times. I never wanted to be by myself and when I was by myself I would sink into the deepest rabbit hole of dark thoughts you can imagine like how much of a burden I am to anybody. I was like why have you even tried to do everything you've done? The stuff that you're successful at, other people are doing better than you and just so many negative self-talk moments that I can recall um, that I will say like the past two days or so, even though my brain has felt cloudy, I haven't felt a ton of negativity from my own self. So even though some people could say, well, it's been like four days, like totally fair, but it does hit everybody's body differently. And I do notice that my brain's just not thinking as much right now. Like I'm just getting stuff done, not worrying about everything that could go wrong with getting it done. This is a big thing, feeling like I'm watching other people enjoying their lives while I'm battling with myself. Okay, watching like friends and family and coworkers just appear to be living happy, fulfilling lives and feeling like nothing I'm doing is good enough. Um, and I will say that I feel like PTSD itself is a separate video to make because the symptoms that come out from PTSD are very much like depression and anxiety. So people who suffer with that probably resonate with what I'm saying a lot more than somebody who might may have just been diagnosed with PTSD. They're gonna be like, I haven't experienced this yet. Well, when I was diagnosed with PTSD, it took years until like the actual panic and triggers started to really kick in and the depression and anxiety I just thought was something within me I didn't realize that they were correlated in the way that they are and if you're depressed you're probably anxious if you're anxious you're probably somewhat depressed um they go very hand in hand a lot of the time so um yeah I would say that like day four has been fine last night I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this. Last night, I almost had a panic attack. Um, I don't know what happened. I felt fine after filming. I took my dose. I ate dinner. And next thing I know, I'm just sitting there, like, spinning. My brain was just spinning. And I was in this deep, dark, negative 
like pool of thoughts that I could not get out of and it wasn't even like sad thoughts it was just like oh my god my heart's racing is something else gonna happen to me now um it was okay so my chest feels tight am I in a medical emergency then it was like now my left arm's hurting am I having a heart attack so that's where anxiety has kind of kicked me in the ass is that whenever I've thought like sorry my hair is bugging me so much today I wish it had stayed like this I feel like it looks so cute like this I just washed it so this is its natural style and I don't usually leave it like this I guess what I'm saying is that I've experienced anxiety in different forms at this point anxiety to me used to be having to go you know do something social you know the interactions at work then it became much worse as I got into a lot worse situations in life it became very specific situational anxiety and then as you learn more about the world as you get older even once you're like 16 you know somewhat about the world and that it's a dark place <laughs> And it's very easy to start correlating things that do happen in your life with things that could happen in your life. And that's kind of, um, if this makes any sense, I hope it does, but that's kind of what's happened with my brain is a lot of what ifs and a lot of like negative thought processes that I have been working very, very hard at um, combating because this is no way to live for anybody and I don't feel 100%. I can't say at day four that I all feel 100%. My mind still races. Last night, I almost had a panic attack. Um, today, my chest has hurt multiple times. And the side effects that I'm articulating to you are different than my natural anxiety side effects. Like, that would be a whole separate video of what my body is naturally going through. Um, I just want to share my experience with medication right now. Because before I took that first dose, I was actually petrified. Um, and I still am. Every time that I go to take a pill, I'm like, will I be able to, you know, live a whole life and get through this? Is this going to help me as much as I hope it will? Um, because a lot of the day, like I said, my anxiety symptoms are different. I'm dizzy a lot of the day. Um, I feel a lot of worry about a lot of things um, and I feel like I'm under accomplishing no matter how much I do just a lot of negative thoughts so I would say that um, by no means are things fixed on day four however um, there is slight glimmers of hope peeking through you know the window of my life right now I think that medication, I think it's hard to make any judgment on if this is going to work for me or not. Um, but I'm just really hoping that it will because this has not been easy by any means. The physical symptoms are worse than any like negative thoughts that I could have ever had. It's just, it's much worse because your body is forcing you to know that something's wrong and also giving you false fight or flight alarms that go off where you really, I'm surprised I haven't said that, but like that's really what it comes down to is your body thinks that you're in fight or flight and that's why it's hard to eat, it's hard to sleep. Um, it causes all kinds of problems, you know? So I will keep you guys updated. Tomorrow will be day five. I can't believe I've been consistent filming every day, but maybe it's because I actually feel good about filming these, you know? Um, I mentioned in my last video that it felt disingenuous to keep filming all my other content because I knew how much I was going through and, you know, if you guys are feeling how I'm feeling, um, or we're feeling somewhat of the same in any regard, I completely understand how hard it is to manage that in life. So managing that and trying to film YouTube, like... It just was like, stop it, Chloe, you can't right now. So this feels good because um, 
I absolutely was there, terrified of taking medication, and I still am, and I'm just hoping things will turn out for the best. Of course, also to mention really quick that I am going to continue therapy. Um, it is very recommended that if you're on medication that you be in therapy so that the medication facilitates you having like the mental space and the space on like your heavy heart, no pun intended, trying to talk about things that maybe you can't really process without medication because it's too much, like it is just too much for you to deal with or talk about. So I do want to mention that, that I am in therapy, I'm going to continue therapy. Um, and that would be the most responsible route according to every healthcare professional I've spoken to if you are considering it. And again, I'm not condoning medication. Everybody's different. Talk to your healthcare provider. Um, and I hope that this video helps you if you're scared or feel alone in anxiety and depression. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. My hot chocolate is cold now. You might have to go reheat it. And it doesn't look very good. I feel like you guys are probably like, what is that? It's really good though. It is. I shot ice it like a mocha. All right. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hang in there. Um, it does get better. And I know everybody says that, but make it better. We can make our lives better. Like, no, it won't happen from nothing, but there are so many great steps to mental health, like meditation and breathing exercises. And um, I'm gonna probably do a video on that, all the techniques I've learned that have really, really helped me so far. And I by no means know all the techniques. So there's probably a world of more things to learn. Um, and if you guys have techniques, feel free to leave them down below too. Um, and if you have questions, leave them down below. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and um, take care of yourselves. Okay. Bye guys.